I cared for the person, but when things got when things got tough and it's time to work through stuff, I wasn't willing to work. It's been said that Jennifer Hudson is too afraid to marry him since she has begun to see these warning signs in him. He might be the type of person that never like really settles with somebody. Maybe he's like a, you know, he's like a bee going from flower to flower. It's evident that Jennifer Hudson and Common are still friends despite becoming public with their relationship. And so I have to ask you this question, because everybody always want to know this. Are you dating it? <laughs> so, yes. And I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart. She loves God. She has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented, but but I set I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an e god. She, she 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 had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson's close friends and family, however, say that she has no plans to wed Common anytime soon. Let me start by saying that during her terrible relationship with David Otunga. Jennifer allegedly stated she would never be married. It's also said that she still thinks marriage is impossible for her. She reportedly vowed not to get married or get into another fast engagement after her split with David because she is afraid to commit. She was once involved with David, so I can understand why Jay. Hud may be wary of her. As you can see, David quickly made a proposal to Jay. Hud after they met at some point in early 2008. David proposed to Jennifer on her 27th birthday, September 12, 2008. They were engaged for more than 10 years, nevertheless, which is a characteristic of the relationship. All right, so the last time you were here, you were, you were engaged, and it has been, uh, how long have y'all been together? Nine years? <laughs> uh, something uh, like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. So no rush to get married? You're not no, in a rush. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, who cares, right? Going nowhere. David seems to have found that Jay Hud could be having an affair with him, honey, and it turned into a really bad turn in their relationship. Additionally, he said that Jennifer had done the same thing with song producer Molly Song, Things only grew worse after that, even though Jay had never acknowledged whether or not she had an affair with the producer. She did discuss it in her protection order against David, claiming that he had attempted to record her to prove to him that she was deeply involved with Molly Music and that he had phoned her many times when she was in Chicago for a recording session out of Jealously. She disclosed the alleged relationship in the protective order. Jennifer said that David had started to act more aggressively, menacingly, and disruptively toward her and their kid. If David is given notice, I think he will, as she stated, try to isolate my son. David Jr. hurt me physically or bug me nonstop. She said that on the evening that David was believed to have urged their child to videotape her singing Molly songs, David was said to have seized his son with one hand and shoved her out of their master bedroom's toilet with the other. In addition, Jennifer accused David of kidnapping their son, which sparked a contentious custody dispute between the two of them. She said that until she got a notice through the school's safety app, she was unaware that David had taken their child out of class. And if all of that wasn't enough, Jennifer basically accused David of trying to take advantage of her success throughout their relationship when she insisted he acquire a job. In that back and forth, David claimed that Jennifer Hudson was lying and that he was being unfairly criticized because she was more powerful in the business. He effectively refuted Jennifer's allegation in the court documents that she was the primary caregiver, stating that he had been their child's primary caretaker since birth because Jennifer was a frequent traveler. Furthermore, he claimed that Jennifer was the one who made him prioritize his family over his career before accusing him of freeloading. A few months later, when Jen had also charged David with other severe ones, David was found not guilty after the police investigated the claims. Moreover, Jennifer willingly revoked her protection order against David in exchange for his vow to never set foot on her property again, child, because they were both calling each other liars, it's never really been known what precisely transpired between the two. But in the end, it was poisonous. And when the insider mentioned that Jennifer Hudson is careful not to enter into another terrible relationship, they were alluding to this. However, Jennifer Hudson doesn't seem to be going to accept Common's recommendation anytime soon for another reason. The insider claimed that even though Common completely won Jennifer Hudson over when he first entered her life, she is hesitant to decide right away because of Common's history with other well-known women. Please allow me to walk you through the link so you can see things from Jennifer Hudson's perspective. This is something she should have understood from the beginning, but allow me to explain. The youngster was only a year old when our man Kim Jones and Common ended their first ever public relationship. Together, they have a kid. 
Subsequently, Common dated Erika Badu from 2000 to 2002. The two worked together on a few tracks. Common dated Tara G.P. Henson in 2005, yet their relationship was kept quiet. Tara G was with Common in one of her most genuine long-term relationships to date. And they too would have been wedded if she had her desire. Common was the last real long-term relationship I had. After really? that, I was like, I don't want... Because my son was uh, sad. Mm -hmm. He was sad when we broke up. Hmm. Oh. According to reports, Teraji's mother believed she was superior to all the women he had dated. However, given that Teraji was just the third among a group of people, perhaps that altered. The mother obviously hadn't met the other amazing ladies like Serena Williams, whom she dated on a regular basis. Rumor has claimed that Serena started their split in 2010. Years later, Common did tell Serena how much he loved and appreciated her. You got a great understanding, and I care about her as a person. You know, it's not like every person you talk to every other day, but, you know, you still have that respect and you have love for him and want to see... Common first dated Angela Rye. After the incredible Serena Williams, however, their relationship ended. They got back together and then it ended again before Common went on to Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany said that her relationship with Common was the finest she had ever had, much like her romance with Taraji. She continued by saying that she would like Common provide in tandem with an apartment complex. Rumor has it that Common dated a number of women, including Ava DuVernay, Jaguar Wright, and Chadwick Boseman's widow Simone. Now tell me, wouldn't you be afraid to start a family with someone like him if you were Jennifer Hudson? Someone with proof, problems with commitment? The insider said that Common has made an effort to persuade Jen that he intends to stay. Jen, meanwhile, remains unwavering, she adds. Common tells Jen he's in the relationship for keeps, despite his past with so many famous women. However, Jen, who was engaged for nine years, felt similar things and didn't want to have to start over after a catastrophic marriage. It's possible that Common is prepared to settle down at this point. Furthermore, wasn't he the one who just admitted that, following extensive counseling and introspection, he could truly be the married type? Are you the marrying type? Do you think this one could be the one? <laughs> We're going there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like that. You're I like that. You're different. Yeah. You're just I mean, like I'm a different guy yeah. now. Listen, I, I feel like I have grown and the work that I've done on myself has allowed me to see that I am a marrying type. I am the type mm -hmm. that am, I'm capable. I had a capacity and, and I, you know, at some point in my life, I may want to do that. Just I, I would know when the right time yeah. is. And I, and yeah. I think for me, Everything is is divine. Like I go, I work from from that discernment that God speaks. You know, when He speaks in into your stomach and you feel it in your heart and your spirit. So Jennifer Hudson could think that's sufficient in the future, even though she doesn't think it is now. However, a lot of people are curious as to what Jennifer Hudson was thinking when she entered that relationship, being completely aware of the kind of person she was seeing. Really, why even enter into a relationship when you are well aware that there would be concerns around settling down? Would you like to go at this moment? I'll miss you, girl. Jennifer Hudson is also receiving odd stares from individuals. I'm not sure if they are guys, but do share your thoughts with me. Do you believe that, given that she was aware of what she was getting into from the start, it makes sense for her to be experiencing misgivings at this time? Do you think Carmen has changed enough that Jennifer Hudson ought to think about getting married to him? Drop those thoughts in the comments section below.